It's how I do it on the mic. Mike, spit that dope shit. It's your boy for life. Life, life. It's how I do it on the mic. Mike, spit that dope shit. What makes you the uh, the best blunt roller? And how fast can you roll? Uh, real talk, man. I'm like I'm like the best blunt roller this side of the Mississippi. Hands down, man. Joints are blunt. Like how fast I can roll one. If it was all put, you know like in front of me, all I had to do was like flip it. Probably like in 30 seconds. I get right to the point, but I usually take my time with it. I treat it like an art, you know, to enhance the smoking experience. Yeah. Thank you, that's kind of you. Same haircut since 92. I'd say your boy for life is a rapper. If you hear the music, wouldn't picture that, you know, the person behind the music is this person that looks like this. One, um, I know it's original to use a lot, but very, uh, very lyrical. Fuck. Relatable. Put some peanut butter on my balls, heavy dog, flick it off, then I cough blood on my asshole. No brain in your head, chain on your neck. Born and raised in Kew Gardens, Queens, New York. Uh, living here my whole entire life. My background, I'm a first generation American. Uh, my background, Bosnian, Kosovar, and Albanian. Cluster of like, third world countries in Europe. Okay. All of them together make one awesome. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's three, good three third world countries together <laughs> should make one solid country. <laughs> What would you say is your favorite song that you recorded and kind of go back and listen to? But it's kind of timeless. Well, I mean, every song has a different type of meaning. You know, you know, truth be told, when you, during the recording process of every song, you kind of grow to hate the song a little bit because you have to deal with it all the time and listen to it. It's like a uh, repetition. But uh, I have an upcoming song in the album called When I Get Home, which is like one of my favorites. But in the past, in my older work, I would say Lonely People. It's a, it's a very relatable song. A lot of people tend to like it. And it's, you know, it has a lot to do with what I was going through and what I still continue to do. Do I have any phobias? Yeah, I do. Um, I'm afraid of owls. I'm, <laughs> I mean, I know we're in Central Park. I hope there's no owls over here. I've always been terrified of owls. I think they're like majestic birds. Awesome, but they're creepy, my G. Like, their heads, like, 360. They can turn their heads 360, you know what I mean? Like, that's why I don't go to Hooters or, like, even stare at the girls' boobs in Hooters because they got the owl shits on them, you know what I mean? Like, that, to me, is terrifying. Not the boobs, just the owl. I'm also, I also have a phobia of like centipedes, you know, the bug with like the hundreds legs, once you get in the summer to fall on the walls, like, man, I don't play, I don't play with that. You know, I'm pursuing a career as an artist because, you know, aside of, aside of all the things that I'm capable of doing, my artistic form is definitely my high point. Um, I really don't want to continue working a nine to five job, and you know, depending on um, paycheck to paycheck every week, um, it's helped me. It's been self therapeutic. Whether it's been making art, making music, building things, it's just I have a really strong creative side, and I feel like I need to bring it out showcase it to the world and not many people have seen it so you know these uh this year and the next year it's really gonna be making it into the forefront about what i do give a mechanism prison that i give them when i hit them with a system of lyricism with them and kill them with a vision on my mental prison ah can't nobody harm me harm me i'm a one-man army army and i'm straight from the gutter that queen's motherfucker the flow is so gnarly put some peanut butter on my balls heavy door flick it off then i cough blood on my asshole no brain in your head chain on your neck so you want i mean i grew up playing guitar my old man taught me how to play 
I mean, I still dabble, I play, but I mean, I still play guitar. Um, guitar and bass. Uh, I do play piano, and uh, like the last three years, I've been teaching myself violin. My grandfather actually bought a violin for my younger brother, and he never really played around with it too much. It was laying around the house. It's a really new, vi it's a new violin. It's beautiful. So I just picked it up and just started reading up on lessons and how it works, and started teaching myself how to play it. Keep talking at your ass, motherfuckers are trash Rapping about cash and horse shit You must be so cool, cause you dropped out of high school Who the fuck pissed in your gene pool? Goddamn fool How do you feel about, uh, the new Batman movie? And having, uh, choked in, uh, Ben Affleck and Anthony Batman Yo, my G, Ben Affleck can't even play Ben Affleck But... I'm not gonna hate on him too much because I actually think he's gonna put on a good job. I think he's gonna do a good job. Uh, because of all, all the hate that's been directed towards him, thinking that he's not gonna pull off a good Batman role. I think it's only for the Batman and Superman to like, go. But I think he's gonna surprise a lot of people actually. Like completely what you, you know, what you wouldn't imagine from Batman. You know, he's using all that, probably all that hate that everyone's giving him and using his motivation and he's probably gonna put on an awesome job. We'll see. Think he's gonna win an Oscar? No, not an Oscar, but <laughs> he won't win an Oscar for him, but I think he'll do a decent job. <laughs> for a writing for a writing sketch, he might win an Oscar, but shit. During nap time, I will get my pee pee licks. Knowing I'm big now, I do better. What up? This is your boy for life, and you're tuned into the new online series Discover on MajorStage.com. Here. The fitter, the better, a quitter, a getter, a cheddar, the musical trendsetter, metaphorical shredder, with a vendetta, the dead, any rapper who thinking he better than ever, the super lyrical mecca, kill him.